Hello, Douglas County. It's Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. And I'm Rick Martin, Director of Communications and Community Relations for Douglas County and the Public Information Officer for the Fire Department. Welcome to today's edition of COVID-19 Update with Dr. Janet Meemark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health. Welcome, Dr. Meemark. Thanks for having me. Dr. Meemark, I heard recently you mentioned the triple threat. What do you mean by this? Yeah, so, you know, over the last few years, we've been battling COVID, right, and the different variations of COVID. Um, and every year we were worried, you know, that a flu was going to make a resurgence. And the last couple of years, we've gotten very lucky, I think, because, you know, we had all those other preventative things that we're doing, like wearing our masks and things like that. Well, right. this is a year it's caught caught up with us. So, um, you know, this time last year we had next to no flu activity, and now we have some very high flu activity that's happening. And so this actually reminds me of you know a few months ago. Remember when everybody was getting COVID because it was BA four and BA five? It's like everybody was getting COVID. Well, I'm starting to feel like that with flu right now. We have a lot of flu activity, a lot in our schools and our outpatient centers. Um, so we're seeing a whole lot of flu. Now, in the Northeast um, areas of the United States, they're seeing a lot of RSV. That's another virus. And this one is a respiratory virus called respiratory syncytial virus. Um, it can affect um, young kids, you know, like under the age of one and older folks. And unfortunately, the first time you get it, it's one of those ones that you can be exposed to multiple times in your life. But the first time you get it can be especially hard. And so what we're seeing is is a higher rate of RSV that's happening and some of the children's hospitals up north are being overwhelmed. And so we're a little worried about, you know, that happening to us as well. Right now, um, of the viruses that we're seeing, it's about 10 percent that we are seeing, but we are seeing it in the community. And unfortunately, there's no um, vaccine for it. But it looks like um, I saw some news today that they're working on one, which is kind of cool. But um, so we're worried about that one. And then, of course, they're, um, you know, a couple of new mutations of COVID and our winter surge. We have not been able to escape a winter surge every year. And so, um, so we're worried about that one hitting as well. Um, so you might ask what we can do about some of this. Well, the good thing is um, two out of the three in that triple threat have vaccines available. And so um, for flu, anybody six or older can get the flu vaccine. And then for the elderly over 65, they have like some um, even stronger versions that you can get to, to boost your immunity up. So that is available. This is a much earlier flu season. So please go get that flu shot. Very, very important. Um, even though, you know, it may not prevent 100% from you getting the flu, it is very good about preventing preventing hospitalizations and death. And that's really the biggest outcome that we're trying to avoid right now. And then also the COVID vaccine also has um, a new vaccine that's out as well that you can get. So tell me, I've been hearing a lot about the new COVID bivalent booster. What uh, can you tell us about this? Is that what you're going to mention? Yeah. So that's what we were talking about. So now the regular booster shot has been replaced by the new bivalent booster. And there's a little confusion in the community. If you um, did not get a booster shot after August 31st of this year, you did not get the new booster shot. OK, so you should go ahead and get that. And, you know, you might be asking, why is it called the bivalent booster? Well, bivalent bi means two. So this one has protection against the original COVID virus, but also against the um, some variants, the BA4 and 5 variants that we just went through. And unfortunately, some of the new variants that are out are the kind of grandbabies of the original Omicron, right? So we actually have, you know, some new offshoots that are coming, but it can offer us some protection against those. And so it's very important, you know, we see waves of this flu, little variations every year, the flu that try to get us. Well, COVID's kind of the same thing. Every year, there seems to be some variations that that try to make us sick and then rsv you know i would just be careful right now like especially if you got some kids that um you know very young babies or um people with respiratory problems or the very elderly um just you know right now while we're, we're all these res respiratory things are happening right now just be a little careful as you're out and about i wouldn't be going into excessively crowded places uh, where you can get exposed to these kind of things right now you know, you did mention some of it before um, regarding the flu. 
-hmm. What should people be doing to prevent getting it, even if they have to go out? Yeah, so um, first of all, um, don't go out if you're sick, right? So if you're going to, you know, just uh, not be passing things around. But um, definitely the flu shot, we had mentioned that. Anybody six months or over can get the flu shot. Um, but um, things that, that are, are basic things, like making sure you wash your hands as much as you can and, you know, covering your your um, your mouth when you're coughing or sneezing and not touching, you know, your face in different places where you can get stuff in. Um, we talked about not being sick and, um, and staying you know staying home if you are sick and you know the mask is still very effective if you're going to be out and about um and you and you have to go out and you know maybe you need to wear a mask or something if you've got some respiratory things that you really don't want to get sick dr me mark what about monkeypox what are we with the outbreak where are we with the outbreak i should say and what can you tell us about monkeypox locally yeah, so I, I think that we're um, blessed to finally be on the downswing of that one. And um, so, um, you know, the, the nation did a really good job about getting our high risk folks um, vaccinated. And so um, we're really having not as many cases at all of that. So very good news and, and a much more controllable situation. Um, so for us um, in our entire district, we ended up with um, 185 cases and there were 1,911 that were in Georgia. So, um, so we had our, you know, our, our proportion of cases, but um, remember, um, you can still, if you're still at high risk, um, you can go and get the vaccine at our health center that they offer the vaccine and you can get testing there as well if you need it. So we continue to offer text, testing and vaccinations uh, that you can get done. Gotcha. Is there anything else you would like to say to the residents of Douglas County? Yeah, you know, um, I think the main thing is that, you know, winter is upon us and um, I wanted to you know, make sure I reminded folks that um, this is the year for the flu and this is not a, we're not speculating anymore. It is here and it is spreading widespread in our community. Um, we've already had, um, you know, 246 hospitalizations for the flu in, in the state and that that's a lot. Okay. Um, so, please get your flu shots, very important. And then also, if you did not get a COVID vaccine booster after August 31st, please uh, make an appointment to get the new one. It's very important. And we also have um, free um, COVID tests. They're still available at the health department if you need it. So I just wanna make sure you knew that you can get those or go to the fire department. You can do the PCR test, um, a self-test there. Oh man, dynamic. Well, very good show. Dr. Jan and me, Mark, with all the information for Douglas County residents. I appreciate you. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you all. So for Dr. Jan and me, Mark, District Director of Cobb and Douglas Public Health, I'm Rick Martin, Communications Director for Douglas County Board of Commissioners. Thank you for joining us. Have a good day. Thank you.